Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to carry out the required practical investigating the acceleration of an object. Now in this practical we're investigating how varying the force affects the acceleration of an object of constant mass. We're also going to investigate how varying the mass of an object affects the acceleration produced by a constant force. Now that sounds tricky but it's actually quite straightforward. OK, here's the equipment we're going to use. We've got a toy car attached to a piece of string. The string is looped around a pulley and the other end of the string is attached to a 100 gram mass. The weight of the mass will provide the force acting on the toy car. We also need a timer. On the desk we draw chalk lines at equal intervals, for example every 10 centimetres. OK, we now hold the toy car at the starting point and when we're ready we let go of the car. Now because there's a resultant force acting through the string, the car will accelerate along the bench. We need to record the time that the car passes each distance marker. Now if the car is moving rapidly, then it will be difficult to record an accurate time. A better way to do this is to simply record the experiment on a mobile phone. We can then play the video back and record the times accurately. Next we repeat the experiment several times but in each case we decrease the mass on the end of the string. For example, we could use 80, 60, 40 and 20 grams. This means that the weight, in other words the force, is decreasing each time. Now there is one really important point here. We're investigating the effect of changing the force on the acceleration of an object while keeping the mass of the object constant. Now in this experiment the object is not just the toy car. The object is actually the toy car, the string and the mass on the end of the string. That's because these are all attached to each other, so we count them all as the object. So what that means is that if we take away some of the mass from the end of the string, we then have to transfer that mass onto the toy car. By doing that, we keep the overall mass of the object the same. Now, as we've seen before, Newton's second law of motion tells us that the acceleration of an object is proportional to the force applied. And remember that the force, in this case, is the weight of the mass on the end of the string. So we should find that the acceleration of the toy car is proportional to the mass on the other end of the string. We can use the same equipment to investigate how varying the mass of the object affects the acceleration produced by a constant force. In this case, we keep the force constant, for example using a 100 gram mass on the end of the string. However, we now attach a mass to the toy car, for example 200 grams. And just like before, we record the car as it accelerates along the bench. Now we repeat the experiment, increasing the mass attached to the toy car. Remember that Newton's second law tells us that the acceleration of an object is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So with this experiment, we should find that as we increase the mass of the toy car, the acceleration decreases. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay.